good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new AEW Unrival Collection video for you guys. Of course, I thought today we would be doing a ranking or a surgery video, but these arrived on my doorstep, and I figured I should go ahead and make a video on it because uh, I think a lot of people are going to be excited about these today, guys. We have the AEW Unrival Collection Series Number 1, Version Number 2, Cody, Jericho, and Kenny Omega. Now, I'm not exactly sure why Brandy and the Bucks didn't arrive. I don't know if we're still waiting on those to get finalized. I don't know what the whole deal is here, guys. But today, we do have Kenny, Cody, and Jericho. And it's actually funny enough, these are the only three in Series 1 that I have mocked. So I have not only the 1B versions here, but I have a version of Series 1A that we can compare them to before we crack Series 1B out of the packaging. But as you guys can see, we do have Chris Jericho in the Series B. It kind of, I mean, if you want to do the comparison here, this is the regular version, and this is the 1B. And if you guys are wondering, look at the side of the packaging here, and you guys will notice that down here it does say series one and then over here it says series one v2 so that is to the refer you know differentiate it if you guys want to get one b mock these are available at ringside collectibles using promo code md toys you could save yourselves 10 percent there but it is just an interesting little note there if you guys want to see and i'm not entirely sure how these are going to hit retail if they're going to hit retail at all all those different things but there's jericho you guys can see the differences are not very apparent i mean i can't really see anything right off the bat uh we are going to crack these guys out of the packaging take a closer look at them do their comparisons to their series one figures just to take a look but there is jericho from 1b here is cody from 1b and i think the skin tone looks a lot better on this guy really excited for the cody figure if we compare them side by side here you guys can see the difference there in the skin tone i mean the head sculpt looks a little bit different as well i know it's the same sculpt but it looks to be painted a little bit better no tattoo or anything it's literally just an update in skin tone and you know everybody was complaining about the paleness of the series one figures or 1a so so not only do we have Cody, but the last one is Kenny Omega that I think a lot of people were really, really looking forward to the most out of the updated skin tone because his first go around, this man looked like Sheamus out here, man. He probably was worse than Sheamus when it comes to the paleness. Like, just look at, like, how flushed out he looks compared to this over here. And at first glance, when we saw the uh, the prototype images or the, you know, the figure images from ringside, I was really worried that these were going to look pretty terrible. But the way I'm looking at them now, it actually doesn't look that bad. So that's pretty good. We'll see when we crack them out of the packaging do some comparisons and stuff like that, but I think that these are looking pretty damn good. But if you guys wanted to see what the mock looked like up next to the other one, there is that. But now that we've taken a closer look at the mock images of these guys, let's go ahead and crack AEW Unrivaled Series 1 Version 2 or 1B out of their packaging. <laughs> All right, guys, so here are all three figures out of their packaging, and uh, I'm definitely liking this skin tone more, at least, uh, you know, at first glance when I'm looking at it up next to the others. I do have them off screen. We are going to take a look at each one individually as far as that is concerned. If you guys missed my first go around on these figures in depth, taking a look at the accessories in depth and all of those different things, we're probably not going to do that here today simply because I've already done that. If you want to check out my reviews of these figures on their own or, you know, in the dual reviews that we do, definitely go check those out. Those, those are on the channel. They may even be recommended down in the comments section or you know down in the recommended section but up close and personal man these figures definitely look better in my opinion i think they just look more official i guess like they they definitely feel and look better than the first go around and it's super cool that jeremy and jazzwares decided to put these out because they didn't have to do this man they could have been like yeah you got pale skin tone deal with it but they wanted to make amends they wanted to fix it they knew that it wasn't right and it wasn't you know correct so they wanted to make that right for us so a huge shout out to them for making that possible but here are all three figures you guys can kind of see what we're dealing with already we take a closer look at Cody right here, guys. It kind of reminds me of the UK skin tone, you know, like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. It doesn't look as dark as maybe the Series 4 skin tone or anything. So uh, if we pull in his uh, his first figure, here is the difference up next to each other. And I think you guys will definitely agree with me that this one looks better. It just looks more natural, you know, like this doesn't look bad per se. I just think that the natural skin tone, this updated skin tone looks a lot better. As far as that is concerned, I think that's really all they did. Like maybe the graphics on the tights may look a tad different. I don't I don't think so though. Like, I, I don't know what I'm getting there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think the skin tone looks a whole lot better on this new Cody. I'm really liking the way it feels. As far as joints are concerned and stuff, I mean, it virtually feels the same. I'm not noticing any noticeable, you know, looseness or anything like that. I think the head sculpt kind of carries a better resemblance to Cody because of the skin tone, which is also excellent. But yeah, no dream, not no dream tattoo. The dream tattoo is right there. No American Nightmare logo tattoo or anything ridiculous 
ridiculous like that. It's literally the exact same figure, but an updated skin tone. Now, if you guys missed out on this Series 1, like this Series 1A, definitely go after the Series 1B. Use that promo code. It's in stock now. You'll probably pay much less for this version than the first version, because I think the first version is probably going to be a little bit more, you know, valuable. Unless you're just a crazy collector, you want to get that in your collection, I think that would absolutely do. I don't think you have to worry about none of that. Now, moving on to Jericho. Here is the 1B Jericho, and we can compare it to the 1A Jericho. And this one kind of looks to me like he got a spray tan. I don't know if you guys are seeing that exactly. I will take the jacket off here in a moment, but at least on the head sculpt, I don't know. Maybe it's just the hair compared to the face. Like, it looks like the hair's a little lighter, but it could be the same color. It's just the skin tone that's kind of throwing that off there. But I think the Series 1 Jericho is actually really, really good. If we take off the scarf here, and then we take off the jacket and stuff like that, we can actually get a better handle on this skin tone and see if the stomach is actually two-tone like we thought when we first saw these proto images. So here's the Jericho with his shirt off or his jacket off. I'm sorry. And I will say, I think the I think the 1B, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say because I really like both, honestly. Like, I think they have kind of like their own thing going on. I feel like the left one has a better head sculpt, maybe. The second one just kind of looks kind of grayish tan or something, but the torso looks good and the tattoos look really good over this. So, I, I don't know. You guys can let me know down below which one you like better. I don't know, man. I'm kind of feeling like I like the A a little bit better, but I can't really tell. It's kind of difficult for me to decide. You guys can let me know what you think down below, but again, same exact accessories, same body parts, same tattoo designs. Literally everything is virtually the same. I would say even the articulation feels good. I'm not seeing that two-tone like stomach. Oh God. I'm not seeing the two-tone stomach like we got in the photograph, so that's pretty good. You know, I'm not noticing anything like that. But outside of that, man, uh, yeah, I think if figure feels good, doesn't feel loosey-goosey or anything. But Jericho's figures haven't felt loose to me like other figures have. So there is our Jericho 1B up next to 1A. And then the last one that we have, guys, is Kenny Omega. And I think that this this looks way better in person than I thought it would. Okay, when we saw the proto images, I was kind of scared. I felt that he may be a little bit too, like, sandy looking or look a little bit like Jericho where it looks like a spray tan. But in uh, person, I'm not really getting that feel. I'm not getting that crazy looking feel. I think that everything is looking good on my end right here. I do want to pop this entrance coat off real quick, though. So taking the entrance jacket off, I will say that this skin tone definitely looks better, but I will say that I think he does feel a little bit loose. Now, we know what the Series 1 can Omega, he kind of had trouble standing and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, see like the Series 1 has a has a problem standing. It's like those loose ankles or whatever, but I am kind of getting, like the Series 4 felt a lot stir like more sturdy in the hand. This one kind of feels a little bit wobbly in my hand. It's not like horrific, but I do like the skin tone of this. It looks more natural. It kind of has like a more realistic tone going. Definitely not pale like we saw with the first go around, but I will say he does feel a little bit loose and the ankles are making it hard to stand up, but it's still really cool to see this. Now, if the, if the first one came out like this, or if it looked like the prototype that we got, you know what I'm talking about, the one that we saw at Toy Fair on the 22nd way back when, I think that this would be ultimate, like no doubt about it. That figure still looks way better than this and the first version, so I don't know where that is. I would love to, if anybody owns that out there that, that worked that show, or you know, if an employee of Jazzwares took that home, or Jeremy himself, I really want to buy that. So if somebody can help me track that down or something like that, that would be really cool, but I think my eyes got a little bit of a misprint. I, I don't think it's that noticeable, unless you do this and get really, really close to it, but I think the Kenny turned out much better with the skin tones and stuff like that. Again, virtually exact same tights, same exact design going on. The hair looks pretty much the same. Facial hair is the same. I think it's literally all the same, except they updated the skin tone, which is pretty much what they promised, and they delivered on it. I think it's great. I hope that these actually hit retail like the others, and I don't know if they're going to do Chase variant versions. I, I don't think they will, but I guess you never know. You know, we'll have to see about that and see what comes of that, but if you guys want to see what the Series 4 looks like up next to this. Let me go ahead and grab it really quick. So here is my Series 4 I'm going to get with my custom head sculpt on there, and these look to be the same skin tone, so they did use the same skin tone, I think, on these. If not, they're very, very similar, like like very, very similar. If, if they are different, it's very hard for me to tell, but I will say the Series 4 feels a lot more sturdy than this one over here, and that is a custom head sculpt or a repainted head sculpt of this head, so, you know, that's, that's one thing. If you guys wanted to see what maybe this looked like on to this head. Maybe we can see what that looks like. Popping the custom head over onto this body. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty damn badass if you ask me. So that's pretty cool right there. And yeah, there is your Series 1B of AEW Unrivaled Series 1. Man, pretty cool stuff. Again, I, I think it's awesome that they decided to do this. And if you guys want to see what the Series 1 looked like on the Series 4, the 1B on the Series 4 body, that is what that would look like. And I think that looks pretty good as well. So you get a couple choices there, flipping and flopping and stuff. But I think that
that pretty much does it for our review of Series 1B, uh, Jericho, Omega, and Cody, and I don't know when I'll get the Bucks or Brandy. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to do it for our AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number 1B Series Review, or at least three out of, the, out of the six. Again, I don't know when the Bucks and Brandy will arrive. Hopefully, they will soon. If you guys would like to see me cover those and see the differences and the similarities and all of that stuff, let me know down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, guys, if you want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. That way, you can get these in here, and you know, you can replace your, your pale figures or your skin tone failures from your first series. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out as well. Again, use promo code MDTOYS when shopping over there to save some money. And this shout-out is going to go to Cheeseburger, who says, The new SummerSlam, The Miz, and The White is clean with the fire. And I will agree that the attire is fire, but again, it is a re-release. It's like a combination of Elite 37 Miz and Elite 69 Miz. But a huge shout-out to Cheeseburger for the comment right there, guys. If you would like a random shout-out in a future video, Video, leave me a comment down below subscribe to the channel turn on the bell and check out the videos till the end and you could earn yourself a random shout out but a huge shout out to cheeseburger for that that does it for the 1b series review thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't be like series 1a and you know what they did you crossed the line i've been